What's up guys? Rob from SPP TV here. I was in the States this weekend. I went to uh, Grand Forks and Fargo, North Dakota. I went for a little vacation. Checked out Harbor Freight. If you guys are on Snapchat, I'm sure you saw a picture or two that I took. The reason I went there was to pick up this stuff, which is for the uh, Turbo LS S10 project. I'm just waiting for Mike to get here and we're gonna unbox it and uh, show it all. It is the same day as the last video, but now later at night, I have this intake for Rob. So we're gonna take that over the RFG and check out all his new turbo parts. While I'm waiting for him, I'm gonna work on the GTO a little bit. Last time you guys saw I was doing the fender. Here it is. And pretty much I'm pretty good except for right there. So I put the filler on the other day. Uh, I'm gonna sand that right now uh, while I'm waiting for Mike. So once Mike gets here, we'll do this unboxing and uh, We'll check out the goodies. Awesome. All right, well, let's start today. Yep. If you guys watched the previous videos, you would have saw that I was having some problems with this truck running. It was dying and stuff, and I messed with the HP tune, tuner's tune a little bit, and it's been fine since. I drove it around for like half an hour last night even tried to like get it hot and then drove it fast, drove it slow, all kinds of stuff and nothing. So since I'm only gonna drive this truck for like a couple more weeks at most, I'm just gonna call it good for the year. But anyways, let's check out what uh, Rob picked up from the States. Yo. And I got a present for you. New body style intake. Rob, I uh, was gone in the States picking up those parts, so I picked up this intake for him off uh, Kijiji while he's gone. 50 bucks, good deal I'd say. Looks pretty good, yeah. As far as intakes go, it's wow. one of the best, right? Nice and clean inside too. Ah, uh, yeah, that's what they say, yeah. They tested them against the LS1 intake and stuff and they are definitely better. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what I'm doing with this one yet. I don't know if it's gonna go on the truck or if I'm just gonna save it for a spare for my car. Or... The only problem with putting on my truck is it's a four bolt throttle body, so I'd have to get a throttle body or get one of those adapters to go from four bolt to three bolt. Yeah. Uh, and then the fuel rails are different. I have the stock fuel rails for my intake, so I could use them, but then the height's different. So to use the stock in like the older style injectors, I don't know what I'd have to do there, but whatever, we'll see. Like I showed you before, I sanded that spot right here all down. And so now that's all pretty nice to the door. Uh, I have to add a little here. There's still a little bit of a low spot. And then there was a little bit of a high spot here, so I had to tap it down. And then also, after I had welded this lower piece on, this wasn't a nice line here. It kind of had a divot in it, which looked really weird. So I just welded a little piece in there just now and smoothed that out so that looks better. And then I noticed the high spot here. There's a little high spot, so I tapped that down, so I'm gonna have to put a little filler on there. And then I also, it's really hard when you're like, you're rubbing your hand along, like it feels really good, and then all of a sudden you feel something you just don't like. And so right here where it was bare metal, and a lot of times when you're sanding and you get to bare metal like this, that might be because it's high. So you wanna like, you know, feel that really good. So this felt a little high, these couple spots, so I tapped that down, and I'm gonna put just a little more filler on there and sand that down. Nice. And that's what I was about to do. It's a long process. Yeah. To get it perfect anyways. It is, yeah. It's definitely quite the opposite of what we got going on at my house with the uh, GMC Sierra. <laughs> you doing some fiberglassing? Yeah, yeah. We got we got both on the channel now. Yeah. Cool. Precision and hack hack work. <laughs> but what are you gonna do? So now we're gonna open some boxes. Uh, sure. First, sure. we're going to start with, First. I went to Harbor Freight in Fargo, which I've never been before, so that was pretty cool. They are having a big sale apparently that day, which was awesome. I got this sweet uh, socket set, Randy says is junk, <laughs> but uh, it was only four bucks. Uh, I like these little sockets, you know, when you need a little socket. Well, it's like the junkyard set one, kind of. It is it is the same, but yeah. that's the thing, the junkyard one's missing so many sockets. At this point, yeah. That this one was four dollars, so how can you go wrong? Four bucks, yeah. yeah. Harbor Freight, four bucks. It was on sale. Winning. Yeah. 
I got these oil filters, pure later for uh, LS engines for my uh, S10. Nice. $2.50 a piece. That's American only. We can't get those here. Yeah. Well, they were half price too. So I got three of those. That's all they had. Bigger. Why not? I'll make you wait for the... We'll start small and, and go. Yeah, go this bigger. isn't uh, S15 stuff. This is uh, GTO stuff. S10. S10, sorry. But this yeah. is GTO. This is GTO stuff. Okay, so I got these. Oh, the vents. The vents that go in the dash. One of mine, when I took it apart, it was falling apart, these things. So when you turned it, it wasn't turning. So I decided to buy these. I bought these off eBay from a place called The Parts Place. This is um, just the tack lens cover. I had the original one, but it had lots of scratches in it. So it was pretty cheap. And here I got new knobs for like the um, headlight and the um, cigarette lighter. But I had to buy a pack of four of them, so I got a couple spares. And then I got a new, this is for the lights, and this is for the lighter, the new plastics. All the chrome was peeling off my original ones. And then, but I also had to buy the whole kit that came with wipers for an older version and the radio, which I don't need, because my thing's got an aftermarket radio in it. But whatever, it was a good deal. All right, let's get to the good stuff. This is whatever, GTO things. We'll save the bigger, bigger yeah. one for later. Okay, so in here, we got three inch um, intercooler piping, chromey, shiny, which I'm surprised is different. We got the shit horse thing with black, so that's cool. Yeah, that's true, right? And then all the silicones. I think I put everything in here. And then I got the. Um, this is like the oil feed return lines and all the fittings. This is all from VS Racing, all this stuff. So if you need it, you get it from them. Comes with that, comes with like the feed fitting that goes on the turbo if it needs one, the return line. Just all these different fittings in there for everything. A couple different fittings depending on what you're, uh, what you gotta run, straight, 45s. Something that might be overlooked in a lot of people's turbo planning, the oil system stuff. And then this is a really, really thick, actually, um, T4 flange, flange, turbo flange. It's really cheap from VF, so instead of making one, I figured, you know what, I'll just get it. It's like 18 bucks or something. And then we got the... Um, well, I think I know that box. Yeah, yeah, just like what Mike got, 44 millimeter wastegate also. Obviously from VS with the V-band flanged, which is nice. And this also has, you get all the clamps, there's like a million. And then you plus you get all these silicones, straight up silicones. It's a really good kit for like a universal kit. Yeah. Fit and a lot of different all, stuff. This is all three inch tubing. I was gonna go with two and a half originally. And then Varen messaged me and said, you sure you want to go with two and a half because the intercooler is three inch. So then I'd have to get like adapter silicones. So I said, yeah, switch me up to the three inch one. So he did that for me, that's awesome. I was just kind of worried about having room and I didn't know, if, I figured two and a half would probably be good enough, but three inch will also look better. And this is just the uh, inner cooler. Same, same one we got in the shit horse, you know, looks pretty good. It should cool some air. Yeah, you'd hope so. All right, I got one more. The big box. The, big box. the reinforced handles, you know what that means. The heavier box of the uh, boxes. Got a gaskets or gasket, I guess. And then it came, it came with one of these, so I guess maybe this is a special one for the turbo drain versus the one that came, you know, it came with one here that has a fitting, but that came with that one, so that's nice. And then here it is. It's the uh, dun, dun, dun. 78, 75 VS special.
Pretty nice, pretty nice looking. I gotta fall over trying to get the shot. Nice turbo. Yeah, you can see it like that. So it actually is pretty small compared to the, I'd like to actually take it to the shit horse and we could do a side by side. Yeah, compared comparison. to the GT45 though, it does look yeah. nice. Nice small packaging with the yeah, same like amount the, of power. Uh, exhaust, exhaust housing is really small, eh? Yeah. Compared to the shit horse one. So that's nice. That'll be nice to package it in there because I don't have tons of room. I got some other stuff coming straight off the boat from China. So that's supposed to be here by the end of the month. Yeah, that's right. So we'll see when that stuff comes in and then uh, hopefully at the end of the month, we'll get started on it. It's the intake on it now. This is a 5.3 L33, 243 heads, aluminum block. The GoPro is just magnetized to this thing. So pretty. Say it's close to the same size. Yeah. And if we put it, this is identical in definitely similar. Should set it up for a thumbnail like this. Third turbo question mark. <laughs> <laughs> I should have just put two of these on my car instead. To save myself some money. Ah. Borg Warner quality. Yeah. I guess we'll find out over time. Well, yeah, so far, I mean, I haven't heard anything, uh, everything I've heard about these are positive. It looks really nice quality. VS has always done us good with the shithorse stuff. So. I mean, it's uh, shiny, so there's that. So all this stuff was from VS. It was, yeah. Basically. It's kind of dark to see, but in case you guys haven't seen the truck, this is the truck that all those parts are going to be going on to on that 5.3 L33. And this is the old motor that's in there. It's a TPI. 305. Nice looking motor. Mind you, the uh, alternators on the other side, right, on the LS, so that'll be good. Because I'm hoping maybe I can have it, like, this is kind of where the exhaust has to, I can't really go, you know what I mean? Like, I can't go, like, really far forward because the rad's there. Yeah. So I kind of have to go here, which is going to be interesting for the, the uh, manifold. But you know what, if I put this manifold on upside down so that the t so that it's like so that it's like pointing up here you know what have I mean? it sitting on it yeah it'll almost be a direct in maybe i'll just modif modify that manifold i mean i know like that one matt has that log style it basically has a mount right on it and then off of that goes to the other side so unless i can do something like that like I said, I won't have a ton of room and I can't, I could, you know, the only way I could go somewhere over here would be to cut the inner fender up a bunch, which I could do and I don't have a big problem with it, but unless I put it kind of like, you know, something like this. And then have like a 45 off the end, yeah. exhaust end, yeah. I mean, obviously this is very, just kind of spitballing here. So here it is, the whole uh, turbo kit load from VS Racing. Uh, how much you pay for all this? Approximately? Well, it was $835 American, so it was like 1100 Canadian. Jeez. That's our exchange rate. All this stuff from VS Racing, basically all you need besides, well, fuel system and well, a bunch of other stuff really, but the, ma the main turbo components you that need. That's the main turbo stuff, yeah. I mean, really the only thing that's missing from there is your hot side piping. Yeah. And headers or manifolds, and that's pretty much your whole turbo setup. You know, not including injectors and all that kind of stuff, but to get it on turboed up, that's what you need. As usual, like, comment, subscribe, share. Thanks. Once Rob has done this GTO, that's when the S10 is going to be coming in here. So look forward to the, this thing being done and I'll primer it up. And the S10 coming in here and all this stuff going on it. Yep. That's a wrap. Sure. Check you later.